tonight on Ustream on This Week Live. The Phantom Flanflinger is seen in California. Facebook bans a place in Norfolk called <laughs> Cockshoot Dyke. <laughs> the Dyke Scooper. This is for scooping out. <laughs> you couldn't make some of this news up. But should Jemima Bacon be allowed back into the UK, we'll be discussing this after the title. <laughs> Hello and welcome and hello to everyone uh, to Ustream TV, a little bit of what you can see here on YouTube as a little taster of what you are missing or what you can quite easily get. <clears throat> For those of you who don't want to be couch potatoes, you can come and see me on tour and next week on the 21st and the 22nd, I am at the fantastic Tivoli Theatre uh, in Wimborne, that's just down uh, near Bournemouth, a little bit down that way. The Tivoli Theatre, 21st, 22nd, and then North London, the top bit. I don't know, it's sort of up there, <clears throat> top of the M25, if you can get there without them arsehole protesters sitting in the road. What was all that about? What, what are they? Two, four, six, eight. We want to insulate. What is going on with these people sitting on... Do you know what would happen in another country if you sat there? If you did that in China, you'd have a tank run over you, wouldn't you? Never mind Tiananmen Square where that bloke stood in front of the tank. We've got all these people on the M25 and now <clears throat> a woman has been injured in a crash because of it. Is it worth it, you idiots? And you all look alike, don't you? I don't think... <laughs> you, you make me sick, all of you. Right, so here we go. Then rattle it, as I said. S drive round the bit with the protesters in and get to Radley on the 29th and the 30th. And for those of you who don't want to go out and go to the theatre, uh, you should do. It's safe. It's all done. But believe me, it's safe. We all have to be checked going into the theatre on stage. You don't have to be, I don't think. But uh, you can, if you don't want to, if you want to sit at home and there's nothing to watch on the TV, because you can do Netflix in a week, can't you? The whole of Netflix you can watch in a week. So what you've got to do, go to Ustream.com, go to the shop, wait for it, go to the shop and you can download my new concert recorded live. I like to call it my new video, but it's not a video because video doesn't exist. Do you know why? It's too busy killing the radio star. Video? Yes, it did. Right. Oh, it's starting to sound like Boris now. But here we go. Right. So that's what you do. If you want to watch me, you can come to the theatre, come to Wimble next week or to Radlett next week as well, the end of the funny week. Uh, have a look at the crawler down there going now. That will give you the dates. Or you can go and get my new uh, eight track called Jim Davidson Unlocked. OK, so let's talk about the news briefly. Four men have been blasted off. They still call it Blast off, don't they? <clears throat> In a rocket. These are four civilians. Have a look at this rocket. Look at that. That looks like a cigar case, doesn't it? Or, or a, a sexual appliance. The old power tools, tools that you keep at the top of the wardrobe so the kids don't find them and brush their teeth with them. Yeah. Would you do that? They've paid a fortune for, for a man, uh, Leon Musk, uh, who's built a spaceship, right? This is the man... This, would you get in that spaceship? This is the man who built the Tesla that can only go 260 miles before it conks out. How do they expect this thing to get in space? It's going further than the space station. All the Russians looking up. Look, there goes a rampant rabbit with four assholes in it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to do that, would you? I'd let someone else go first. I remember when I was a kid, I said to my dad, Dad, I want to be shot into space. And he said, if I, if, I had, uh, if I had a choice, son, you would have been charming. I didn't do the Scottish accent. It's not as funny. Right, anyway, so let's be working out what's going on. The government have had a shuffle. A lot of people say it's a five-knuckle shuffle because they're all one. And, and, and we have now a Doris at the table. We have a Doris at the table. Uh, uh, Doris, who was in the jungle. Nadine Doris, wow, yes, she is two of my favourites. Right, let's hope that she tries and stamp out this wokeism that's going on in the television. Then maybe she'll be able to deal with the cancel culture that's going on for a lot of artists 
in, uh, in and around the theatres. It, it is ridiculous and the public need to choose what they want. Uh, that's what all I'll say about that. So she might also tell Channel 4 to bugger off and get its own funding. Why are we paying for all this lefty nonsense? They, they can leave uh, Who Dares Wins. We'll have that on Ustream. I think it's brilliant. Did you see uh, the new series of Who Dares Wins? I thought that Ant had gone. No, but he's not gone. He's, uh, he's still there. I quite like him, actually. My favourite is Billy Billingham, the ex-B Squadron Sergeant Major. He's as hard as nails. Don't you worry about that. But what about Eureka Johnson? She looks like a negative of Alice Cooper. Here, look. Here's Alice. Here's Eureka. Mmm. Mmm. So there we go. Right. Now, talking of television, briefly, John Whittingdale, a great MP, said there needs to be more Britishness on television. We need more people like this. And I agree with him. And we need more British language. So great for MPs who, who, who didn't get altered in the shuffle. Ben Wallace, the Defence Secretary, and Nigel Adams uh, from the uh, Foreign Office, two heroes of mine. When Ben Wallace was asked about this, that and the other, he said, it's all bollocks. Oh, great British word. And Nigel Adams told that idiot in the blue top hat from Europe to Foxtrot, uh, Uniform, Charlie, Kilo, uh, O, asterisk, asterisk. Anyway. If you don't get that, he actually said fuck off. Right, OK then. Now, talking of fucking off, Pretty Patel. You've got to tell that girl, Shamama Begin, she can only come back if she can drive an HGV. OK? So apart from that, forget it. We don't need people like her in our country. We'll talk about that on Ustream in a minute. We'll have a good old debate about that. But the best thing, the hero of the week, is Chris Lewis. Chris Lewis from Swansea, doesn't it? Isn't it? Oh, yes. Shit myself, have you? Um, he's X2 para, and because he wanted to raise awareness of, of veterans that, that get themselves in a bit of trouble when they leave the military, he found himself, uh, him and his daughter, he's, he's a single parent for some reason, um, uh, found himself without a home. Uh, and Safa, the Armed Forces, brilliant, Safa, the Armed Forces charity, helped him out. And so... He's repaying them by walking around the entire coast of this country. Get, get, on the, get on the thing and have a look. Chris Lewis, get on the website and have a look. Or better still, OK, go to the Ustream Veterans Fund. OK, go to Ustream, go to the Veterans Fund, or you can text this number, text donate to this number, double six triple seven. I normally get that wrong, so you better check on the little crawler uh, and make a donation, and we'll make sure it gets to, to Safa. A, a brilliant charity on behalf of Chris. So there are some heroes in this country and we don't want certain people coming back, okay?